Hi, today I'm going to illustrate or demonstrate an instructional design concept. I'm going to introduce Azure, an instructional design model. In this video, I'm going to explain the steps of Azure model. Then, I'm going to narrate the application of the Azure Learning Plan in the real online synchronous class. What philosophy is Azure model based on? This model is constructivism based. It is a framework that assumes passive learners will not learn at their best. Learners must be actively participating in their own learning, interacting with their environment and peers. A sure model is also based on Robert Gagnon's events of instruction. The Azure model is a guiding in crafting an instructional flow. It is a guide in integrating appropriate technology and media into the instructional process. It is a systematic approach that the teacher can use when writing an instructional plan. These are the steps in the Azure model. Letter A. Analyze learners. Letter S. State objectives. Letter S. Select method, media, and materials. That are you. Utilize method, media, and materials. That are R. Require learner participation. That are E. Evaluate students' performance. I'm going to explain every step of a sure model. Letter A. Analyze learner. Here, learner as the center of instructional process. We are going to analyze the learner's learning style. We are going to analyze the interest or preferences of the students and also the special needs and cultural diversity of our students. Second step, state objectives. Here, learning outcomes expected of the lesson are written. This will be the main instruction guide that will direct the flow of the lesson. This step describes what the learner would be able to perform. Next, select method, media, and materials. The teacher is going to select appropriate way of delivering the lesson. This is using the applicable media or technology effective for instruction. Next step will be utilize method, media, and materials. Here, teacher decides which part of the instructional flow will a particular material or technology be employed. It is the manner on how it will be more effective to achieve the learning outcome. The next step, require learner participation. Here, student engagement is an important element. Learners have to understand their role in taking accountability of their own learning. And the last step will be evaluate student performance. Assessing learner's performance can take place across phases of the lesson. Evaluation should be congruent to the learning outcome of the lesson. This time, we are going to apply a short model in a lesson. This can be done through synchronous online class. The subject will be Fellow 101 Ethics and the topic will be all about Aristotle's Virtue Ethics, the Ethics of Character. This lesson is for second year college students. The class consists of 30 to 40 students. Learning styles in this class vary from auditory to visual. Some students have difficulty maintaining focus due to internet connection. This lesson is tailored to accommodate the student's attention span. The objectives are to understand what is meant by virtue or arete. Second, to consider Aristotle's goal, the supreme good of flourishing, eudaimonia. Next, to discover the importance of practical wisdom, pronesis, for the good life. Next, to evaluate the importance of virtue ethics in our lives. Select method, media, and materials. In this lesson, we are going to utilize model LMS, the platform used by the school. The media will be used, the PowerPoint software, wherein the lesson will be presented in slides. We are going to use Jamboard, wherein virtual writings are presented here. Jamboard will serve as a virtual whiteboard, wherein students are going to write anything that they want for their answer. And the next one will be the computer wherein asynchronous and synchronous lessons are delivered. Other materials also, the video clips. These video clips will be presented to support the explained slides. And Google Meet. It is a video conferencing platform for synchronous 
sessions. This will be the activity under Utilize Method Media and Materials. First, Google Meet will be open to accept students. Attendance in the Model LMS will be utilized. Here is the example of your attendance through Model LMS. The next, the teacher will inform the students about the objectives and the flow of the lesson. Jamboard will be used to unlock Greek terms of the lesson. Here is the example. The different terms are explained by the teacher. Then the next, the teacher is going to use PowerPoint slides to be shown for thorough discussions supported by video clips. The first one will be all about Aristotle. Who is Aristotle? The video will explain more about Aristotle. It will be followed by ethical theories compared and explained. The video is going to explain the differences of these three ethical theories. The next slide will be all about virtue. What is virtue? Then the video will follow to explain also what is virtue. Then the teacher also will explain later. The next video will be all about how to achieve eudaimonia or how to become good. The video will explain all about it. And then later, some slides will explain about eudaimonia. The next step will be require learner participation. So there can be two parts in this step. The first part will be in between the discussion. they are going to pick five values that they have and explain all about it. Almost at the end of the discussion, the students are required to draw three columns featuring the deficiency, the mean, and the vice or excess in the jamboard in five minutes. This is an example here. And if you are going to look at in the jamboard, it will look like this. Or the students also can write in their own penmanship or jamboard. And the last step of the Azure model is evaluate student performance. Here, assisting learners is done through using the model LMS forum. Students will be given 20 minutes to answer the short essay questions in the model LMS forum. Here, you can find six questions wherein students are going to choose and answer only three questions out of six questions. This will be the example of the answer in the LMS. That is what we called the instructional design concept using this Azure instructional design model or we call it Azure model.